Today's story revolves around a kitty pet named Elsa. She is a three-year-old oriental short hair and was adopted by a young two-legged girl. Elsa was the only cat in this two-legged nest and often found her life to be rather boring. Every day, pretty much the same thing. She'd wake up, she would eat, go outside maybe, but that's about it. Her two-legged girl had grown up and didn't have as much time to play with her. Elsa often found herself sitting inside and looking out of a window. She wondered, could there be more to this simple kitty pet life? She was not often found wandering past her own yard, but today she was feeling a bit of excitement and bravery, so she ventured off into the forest. She had heard about clan cats, but never actually met one before. Maybe her luck would change. The sleek gray cat found herself playing in the snow. It was all so much fun and different, even though she really wasn't that far from home. But suddenly she picked up a scent. It definitely wasn't a normal scent. Maybe it was a clan cat. She quickly turned and started to follow the scent. What Elsa saw next, she could never have imagined. A whole camp full of warrior cats. There were so many different colors and sizes and every single cat was different. She looked down and watched them hoping no one would notice and shoo her off. After spending most of the day watching the very interesting cats, she realized it was getting dark and it was probably best if she headed back to her safe home for tonight. Like always, her two legs left the kitty door open and she could easily go inside to escape the snowy cold. With her head full of images of cats running and carrying large prey and all living together, she managed to fall asleep pretty quickly, dreaming about being one. The next morning she knew that she wanted to explore more, see if she could find out more about these warrior cats and maybe what their clan was called. Taking a few steps out of her nest, she noticed a strange scent and a noise coming not too far from the house. She quickly went to investigate. And just like that, a large cat leaped over the fence, grabbing a purple flower. Elsa tilted her head and said, hello? Maybe they were friendly, maybe they would want to talk to her. The warrior cat quickly bolted running up a rock and leaping over the fence, gone in a flash. Elsa watched in pure shock. What was he scared of? Did this cat need this flower? She figured maybe she could help and grabbed some herself. She had bravely decided that she would take this flower to the camp. At least maybe it would give her an excuse to meet some of the cats and find out some more information. Approaching the camp, she saw so many clan cats all running one way or another. Looking around, she spotted a large Tom sitting by himself and figured maybe he would be friendly. That's when she met him. After the two cats exchanged a friendly hello, Elsa began to explain why she had brought the flower here and her interest in clan life. The Tom began to explain what the flower was for. Different herbs and flowers found in this forest could actually heal them. Elsa was so surprised that sounded wonderful. She continued to ask him questions like, was he a part of this clan and what the clan was called? She found out this clan was called Thunder Clan. The two cats exchanged names. She found out his name was Badgerfur. She complimented him, saying it was very fitting, 
and thanked him for not chasing her off, even questioning maybe we could meet again. Badger Fur replies, maybe. Elsa understands it's probably not wise to hang around here too much. Excitement filling her heart, she headed back. Were all clan cats as nice as Badger Fur? Maybe, maybe she could try to join. But that meant she would have to leave her house, her family. She decided at least tonight she would head back. The next morning she had made up her mind. She wanted to at least try this new life. If it didn't work out, she could always come back and paw at the door and her two legs would most likely let her back in, but she just felt a calling to her. Only a few steps outside of her home, she saw two clan cats. She quickly caught up to them and then began to follow them back to camp. While the two cats she was following entered the camp, she noticed two other cats sitting and talking. One of them seemed to be a clan cat and the other a kitty pet. She approached and listened until the clan cat called out and asked, Who are you? Elsa took a deep breath and tried to speak with confidence, although slight nervousness could still be heard. She said, My name's Elsa. I'm a kitty pet and I wanted to ask to join your clan. The Thunder Clan Tom looked her up and down and thought for a moment. After a few moments, the Tom spoke. I'll have to speak to my leader, he said calmly. Of course, thank you so much, Elsa managed to say before she was suddenly surrounded by Thunder Clan cats. Clouded on, there's a clan meeting, we must go, said a yellow and gray she-cat. After listening to the clan cat speak, she realized the cat she was speaking to, Clouded Dawn, was actually the deputy. He turned and looked to her and said, wait outside, I'll be back. And the clan cats went inside the camp. Elsa curled up outside of the Thunder Clan camp and waited. She could barely hear all the different cat voices speaking. How exciting it must be. Not too long after, she noticed a familiar black and white Tom strolling out of the camp. It was Badger Fur. Her instinct was to jump up and run over, say hello, but Clouded Dawn had asked her to stay put. But perhaps a quick hello wouldn't hurt. She got up and strolled over. Badger Fur turned and noticed her, a smile on his face. He leaped down from his rock and said, Hey. Elsa explained to Badger Fur that she had spoken to Clouded Dawn, the deputy, and even asked him to join the clan. She was still nervous, but also very excited. Badger Fur confidently told her not to worry and then waved his tail. Come on, this way. Elsa was confused. Her, her ears felt warm, but she happily got up and began to follow him. Her mind raced as they walked together through the snow. Where was he taking her? And would Clouded Dawn be back soon? Hmm, maybe none of that mattered right now. Badger Fur told her that he wanted to go somewhere more quiet, and then took her to this rock facing the Thunder Path. Elsa looked around. Elsa admitted that she usually never travels this far. It's dangerous to go alone, especially for a kitty pet. Badgerfur looked at her. Mm, nothing really dangerous around these woods. Elsa chuckled. Well, maybe not to a big cat like you. She quickly looked away. They continued to chat as the moon raised higher and higher into the sky. Elsa gasped. She had never seen the moon so big and bright before without all the lights around her two-leg nest. And the stars, the stars just seemed so bright. 
Badgerfur looked over, and he began to explain Star Clan to her and how, to the clan cats, the stars were their ancestors. A little later, Badgerfur sighs. Elsa tilts her head and asks, What's wrong? He responds, Despite being in a clan with dozens of cats, it still gets lonely. Elsa nodded sadly. Yes, in my two-leg nest, I'm the only cat there, and none of the two legs really ever want to play anymore, so I find myself being alone almost always. Elsa quickly added cheerfully, but hopefully your clan will accept me and we can hang out all the time. Badger fur chuckled. Yeah, I hope so. Speaking of the clan, she remembered that she should have been waiting outside for Clouded Dawn. <gasps> Badger Fur, can you take me back to the clan? He looked down and he nodded. Of course, this way. The two cats walked back to the clan, playfully brushing up against each other's pelts as they walked. Elsa nervously followed Badger Fur down the tunnel and into Thunder Clan. She sat by the entrance. Badgerfur looked at her. I'll get the deputy. She nodded. Clan cats walked in and out and barely even seemed to notice her. That's a good sign, right? She noticed a cat approach Badgerfur. Please, our kit's missing. Do you mind joining us? We need to find them. Badgerfur replied, of course. Elsa jumped to her paws and walked over. May I help? The clan cat responded, Any help's better than none. The dark gray cat introduced herself. I'm Smokestorm, the Thunder Clan medicine cat. Please follow me. Elsa nodded and quickly followed behind the she cat. Elsa began to track the kit through the snow, but it seemed like the scent kept going in circles. Finally, Smokestorm looked at Elsa. I think it's going back to camp. Oh, hurry, let's go. Maybe he's back there safe. To everyone's relief, the kit was found back inside of the medicine den. The stern Smokestorm made sure to tell the kit how dangerous it was to go out alone and to stay in the camp from now on. Elsa watched and let out a sigh of relief. She was just happy the kit was home. Elsa was turning to leave. She wanted to tell the others that the kit was found when she bumped into a beautiful orange cat with the red flower in her hair. Who was that? Padding out into the camp, she looked around. There he was, Badgerfur. She quickly walked up to him. Did you find the kit? He asked. Elsa responded, Yes, I was just looking for you. He is safe in the medicine den. She could not help looking around. Where was Clouded Dawn, the deputy? Had he made his decision about her yet? Badgerfur could tell she was worried. I'll go find the deputy, he said. Elsa nodded, thankfully. Suddenly, Clouded Dawn jumped onto the leader's rock. He was calling a clan meeting. Elsa looked around, trying to find somewhere to sit. She found a spot next to a pretty calico cat. I'm Maple Shine, the calico cat said, turning to Elsa. What a lovely name, Elsa replied. Both of the cats continued to speak to each other as they waited for the rest of the clan to join for this clan meeting. There was a hush over the clan as Clouded Dawn began to speak. I will be the new leader of Thunder Clan, and I will also be picking a deputy. Elsa watched, her eyes wide with excitement. Who would be the next deputy? Everything was quiet. The deputy will be Badgerfur, a strong and loyal Thunder Clan warrior. That is all. The whole clan began to cheer. Badgerfur, Badgerfur, Badgerfur. 
Elsa couldn't believe it. This cat she had made friends with was now the deputy of ThunderClan. She rose to her paws to go greet him when he spoke up. Clouded Star, there's a kitty pet named Elsa that would like to join our clan. Clouded Star responded, I will meet with her soon. The clan began to disperse, and Elsa trotted over to Badgerfur. Congrats! She sat down and looked up at him, noticing the similar orange cat was sitting next to her as well. She could hear from other cats that her name was Willowtail. Willow Shine looked over at Elsa before quickly looking back up at Badgerfur. It is such an honor to be in the presence of our new deputy, she chuckled. Elsa didn't really have time to think about what was happening because Clouded Star approached her. Come into my den, please. Elsa took a few nervous steps inside of the leader's den when she suddenly felt the fur of another cat brushing up against her side. Looking over, it was Badger fur. He smiled and gently nudged her shoulder. It's going to be okay. Elsa took a deep breath before looking at Badger fur, smiling. Everything would be okay, right? Elsa approaches the brand new leader sitting down and looking at him in his eyes. Hello, Clouded Star. Yes, I would like to join ThunderClan. Clouded Dawn thinks for a moment. Why is it you want to join ThunderClan, he asks. Elsa explains that she wants to be something bigger and maybe start her own family one day. After a few nerve-wracking seconds, Clouded Star finally responded. Okay, you may join the clan, but trust needs to be earned and that will take time. Of course, Th thank you so much, Clouded Star. I'm, I won't let you down, Elsa muttered, excitement filling her completely. Good, he smiled. As Elsa and Clouded Star continued to talk, a large brown warrior entered the leader's den. She said a few hushed words to Clouded Star before quickly leaving the den. Elsa wondered what that was about, but was quickly distracted when Clouded Star spoke to her. Tell Badger Fur to start a patrol and he can train you. As Elsa left the leader's den, there was a line of cats waiting to speak to Clouded Star. What a busy life he must lead. She finally found Badger Fur, but he was busy entertaining a very curious kit. She sat down and waited for him to finish. In the meantime, her friend Maple Shine decided to join her. Elsa explained that Clouded Star had allowed her to stay. Oh, that's amazing, Maple Shine replied. Badger Fur certainly seemed to be Mr. Popular around camp, being deputy and all. Elsa decided to take a small nap. Maybe he would have time later to take her out training. Padding into the den, she found a nice empty nest. Curling up, she took a small nap. Searching around the camp, she couldn't find Badger fur anywhere. There were admittedly a lot of different dens and they all seemed pretty similar. Finally, she poked her head into the right one. There was many more cats sleeping, and there was Badgerfur. Badgerfur greeted her with a purr. Hey, El Snowpelt, he corrected himself. She chuckled. Elsa slowly moved closer to Badgerfur, curling up and resting her head on his shoulder. She had never felt this way about another cat before, but it didn't last long. Suddenly, Willowtail came barging into the den. There's a clan meeting. You guys better be there. Badgerfur quickly got up and left, leaving Elsa awkwardly staring at Willowtail. She couldn't shake the feeling that Willowtail didn't like her for some reason, but 
There was no time to think about that now. There was her first clan meeting. Elsa jumped to her paws and quickly followed after Badger Fur. The clan was already sitting around the gathering rock, Clouded Star at the top, and Badger Fur taking his spot as deputy. She sat down and watched. Her friend Maple Shine joined her. The two of them cheered on the apprentices as they were announced. The wonderful snow falling all around the camp, as Clouded Star said, Clan dismissed. Maple Shine turned to Elsa. I need to tell you something. I want to figure out how to get Clouded Star to notice me. Elsa gasped. That's really, really cute, Maple Shine. The two best friends continued to talk and laugh, but all while she Elsa couldn't help notice, but Willowtail side-eyeing her. Now she was sitting next to Badgerfur on the deputy rock. Elsa walked up to Badgerfur, but Willowtail gave her a nasty glare. Elsa decided maybe it was best if she went out hunting instead. Elsa wanted to clear her mind from all of the mess back at camp, so she padded out into the snow. Looking around, it was truly just so beautiful. But as she looked around, part of her just didn't understand why there was cats that already disliked her. All she had done so far was join the clan. Was she doing something wrong? After walking for a while, she spotted Beastrike, a fellow warrior. Hi, Beastrike, she called out to him. The two cats chatted for a bit until Elsa asked, can I join you hunting? Sure, I don't mind, Beastrike responded. Beastrike lowered himself to the ground, his white stomach blending in with the white snow. He stopped and looked at his prey. Elsa did the same before he leaped. That was amazing, she said. Elsa couldn't help but watch Beastrike with amazement. He was such a good hunter. Hopefully one day she could get on his level. He turned and looked at her. We should head back. She nodded. Entering the camp, she walked past Badgerfur, who looked like he was on a mission and didn't have time to talk. She looked around and spotted her best friend Mapleshine. Mapleshine, where's Badgerfur going? Mapleshine looked around. He's looking for Willowtail. Elsa couldn't help but feel a little jealous. Mapleshine was called off to a patrol and suddenly Willowtail was behind her. Don't try and guilt trip me. It won't work. Elsa was completely stunned and taken off guard. What was Willowtail talking about? Before Elsa could properly ask a question, Willowtail was already walking off, not wanting to talk. Elsa took a few steps towards Willowtail, wanting to ask what was going on, but then Badgerfur walked in and said, oh, there you are. Elsa stopped and watched. <sighs> Ridiculous! Badger with the cat previously named after a Disney princess? Willowtail's voice, unfortunately, could be heard throughout the whole camp. Elsa could feel her heart simply breaking as Willowtail stormed off and Badgerfur followed her. A golden calico cat approached Badgerfur and Willowtail. Badgerfur, this is important. Badgerfur looked, in a moment, in a moment. Honeyfern shook her head. No, Badgerfur. It's Clouded Star. He's not happy with how distracted you've been, and he's he's gonna decide a new deputy. Elsa gasped. Elsa couldn't help but watch, her eyes wide, her stomach filled with a nervousness for her friend Badgerfur. Finally, he responded, "Fine, fine. Willowtail will speak later," and then he walked towards the gathering rock. Elsa followed behind Badgerfur. A group of cats could already be seen looking up at Clouded Star. Elsa had a bad feeling about this. 
As she sat waiting for Clouded Star to begin speaking, she could hear the hushed tones of her clanmates. A new deputy. I wonder who it'll be. Elsa couldn't help but feel a sense of betrayal. A brown apprentice looked up at her. His name was Snakepaw. A new deputy? This ought to get interesting. Elsa didn't even know how to respond. She was still so new to clan culture, but it just didn't feel right. She looked back up at Clouded Star. Hopefully he would settle all of this soon. Maybe it was a misunderstanding. There was a hush over the clan. Clouded Star spoke. I'm sorry to announce I'm stepping down from leadership position. Small whispers could be heard, but for the most part, the clan stayed silent, knowing that Clouded Star was not finished speaking. After a few moments, he announced, and the old deputy will be changed too. Stone Whisper will become Stone Star, and Burnt Pelt will become the new deputy. Clouded Star spoke. The clan gasped. Elsa couldn't help but call out, but what about Badger Fur? Snake Paul looked up at her and said, don't know what I expected, but not this. She could hear other clan cats disagreeing and not happy with Cloud Stars. The clan began to erupt with noise. Most of the cats seemed to side with Badger Fur, saying it was unfair, but there were still those who supported Clouded Star's decision. Bramblepaw could be heard saying, Our leader is insane! Teeth and fangs began to come out, clanmates turning on each other. Bramblepaw spoke up, The medicine cat should decide now. Elsa agreed, that was a good idea. But would it work? It might be too late for that. Some clanmates began to fight each other, while others attempted to separate them. Clouded Star finally spoke up. This is not my clan anymore. He jumped down from the rock and walked right out of camp. The clan erupted. Elsa felt defeated. She didn't want to be a part of this clan if they didn't accept Badger Fur. Suddenly Bramble Paul spoke. Not right. Clouded Star is an old mouse brain. The new leader, Stone Star, began to speak. If Burnt Pelt dies or does not do well in his role, the new deputy will be Badger Fur, without opinions. Elsa looked confused. That seemed okay, but not really. Suddenly, Willowtail took a step in front of the clan. Mousebrained, all of you! She turned and started to leave the camp. Elsa looked back at Badger Fur, sitting alone in front of the whole camp. She took a step forward sitting next to him, hoping maybe to bring him some comfort. As Stone Star continued to argue with some of the clan mates, Elsa leaned over and whispered, Are you okay? to Badgerfer. Badgerfer looked up at Elsa with a gentle smile, before standing to his paws, looking over his clan mates. Get everyone who disagrees with me to meet me outside of the camp, he roared. Elsa jumped to her paws and began to follow Badger Fur, and with a wonderful surprise, so did many of the clanmates. Elsa followed the group of cats, Badger Fur leading. He looked back and said, I have an idea. The group of cats huddled around each other, right outside of the Thunder Clan camp. The wind blowing and freezing Elsa's paws, but it was worth it. She wanted to support Badger Fur and whatever his idea was. Everything was quiet. Badgerford looked at the group and said seriously, we should leave. Willowtail spoke up. No, we'd become rogues and disrespected by all clans. Elsa couldn't help but roll her eyes slightly. Didn't she support Badgerford? Badgerford spoke. We will move to Shadow Clan camp. It has been empty for many, many moons. Snake Paw chirped in. That's a good idea. We can start our own clan. A new clan sounded wonderful to Elsa. She looked over at Willowtail. You can always stay here. Willowtail puffed up, hissing. I know the only reason you want Badger Fur is because he has power. Back off! Elsa sighed. 
Was this she-cat serious? She looked over. I met Badgerfur before he was deputy. Badgerfur spoke up. Anyone who wishes to join me in Shadow Clan, come sit by me. Elsa took the opportunity to walk over and sit next to Badgerfur. You know, cause he's uh, fluffy and it's cold out. Willowtail did not appreciate this and walked over, squeezing herself in between Elsa and Badgerfur. Badgerfur rose to his paws and looked around at his new clan. Let's go. Everybody jumped up, slowly walking and then running, following Badgerfur. She runs across the thunder path, not even bothering to look. All that matters was keeping up with this group. As she ran up a hill, she could tell that ThunderClan's scent was no more. It didn't really smell like anything, and before long, she had made it. This was the new camp. The clan immediately began to look around. Badgerfur called out, Everyone gather around for a meeting. Elsa smiled. He looked like he belonged up on that rock. She walked over to the group and sat next to Snakepaw. Elsa's smile quickly turned to a frown as Badger first spoke. Willowtail? You have proven loyal to the warrior code, and I admire your cleverness. This is why I ask that you become our next deputy. Elsa looked down at her paws. The cat that hated her was going to be deputy now? This wasn't good. Willowtail looked around at the small clan. I accept. I will protect this clan with my life, she said proudly. Badgerfur continued. White Shadow, you will be Shadow Clan's new medicine cat. He looked at the small clan once more and then up at the stars. May Star Clan approve my decision. He dismissed the clan and jumped down from the rock, just as Willowtail approached Bee Strike and Elsa. Bee Strike, you and Snakepaw will patrol borders by dawn. She then turned to Badgerstar. May I talk with you? Elsa at this point was just kind of watching everything happen. Badgerstar responded, of course. Willowtail side-eyed Elsa, alone. Elsa got the, got the message and decided to walk to the other side of camp. Elsa found a nice, empty rock to jump up on. She took a moment to look around the camp. This clan was much smaller than Thunder Clan. And with Badger Star Leader, I mean, that was great. But Willowtail being deputy, is this, is this really the life she wanted? She couldn't help but overthink a little bit. In the distance, she noticed two strange cats over by the camp entrance. Beast Strike and another Shadow Clan warrior seemed to be handling it. Did these two cats want to join? She listened. Curious and wondered if her clanmates needed help, she walked over to Beast Strike. These two seemed to be kitty pets, just just like her. Maybe this would be amazing. Maybe other cats in this clan who really understood her. It seemed like these two kitty pets did want to join Shadow Clan. She happily led them over to Badger Star's den. Sitting down, Badger Star walked out. Elsa could feel her fur bristle as Willowtail approached her from behind, sitting next to her. Oh, what now? Willowtail looked over. Snowpelt, can we talk? Elsa forgot that the clan had renamed her Snowpelt, a more warrior-sounding name, although she still liked to call herself Elsa. Badgerstar invited the two kitty pets into his den. Elsa looked a little uncomfortable, but nodded. Sure. Willowtail jumped to her paws and started walking away from the group. Come on. Both of the she-cats jumped up onto a rock. Now they were sitting next to each other. Elsa couldn't help but think that maybe she was being kicked out of the clan. Finally, Willowtail broke the awkward silence. I'm 
sorry for everything. I know you've never really done anything to me and you don't deserve it. Elsa's jaw almost dropped. Was Willowtail apologizing? She quickly added. It's just, I've known Badgerstar for a long time and I'll admit I was a bit jealous. Elsa thought for a moment before responding. Badgerstar helped me leave my kitty pet life. I simply wanted a friend. Elsa sighed. She couldn't pretend like she didn't at least used to have feelings for Badgerstar. I don't blame you though. We used to be pretty close, but I can see that he's moved on. Willa tell me out. I understand that now, but I didn't before. I just wanted to apologize for my inappropriate behavior towards you. It's okay, I forgive you. Elsa smiled and gently bowed her head. This was her new deputy after all. At least the two were able to make up. Willowtail smiled and bowed her head back. No cat is perfect, and I know that I'm certainly not. Elsa chuckled. I think you'll be a good deputy. This, this is going to be new for all of us. Willowtail looked. I know, but I'm just not used to all this change. Badger Star will be there to help you if you need. I'm sure of it. Willowtail looked over and nodded. And I'll be there for you too, as a friend, not a rival, she said, sticking her tongue out. Elsa felt a warm, comforting feeling. This was so nice. It finally felt like she belonged here and this was her home. Turning to look at Willowtail, she spoke. I promise to be a loyal warrior to you guys. Willowtail smiled. Thank you, Elsa. Leaping off of the rock, they were greeted by Badgerstar and Honeyfern. Badgerstar had a big smile on his face as he spoke. I'm glad to see you two getting along. Of course, Elsa purred. Willowtail chirping in. I'm also glad we got past our differences. Badgerstar spoke. Willowtail, if you could make sure the Dawn Patrol gets done. Willowtail perked up. Oh, right, right. Bye, guys, she said as she walked off. Now it was just Elsa and Badgerstar sitting next to each other. It feels like the first time they had been able to talk in forever. Elsa smiled. You run this clan very well. Thank you, Elsa, he responded. Apparently I make a better leader than deputy. Elsa fluffed up. Clouded Star was a foolish old cat. Willowtail, who had just finished her duties, walked over. Mouse brained indeed. Badger Star and Willowtail began to speak back and forth. Elsa quietly added, I'll leave you two alone and hunt for the clan. She turned and padded off. After a successful hunt, she walked back to camp. The clan seemed to be all hyped up, speaking about a gathering tonight. Honeyfern and Beestrike explained that they had just finished spying on ThunderClan, explaining that it's even more of a must now. As the clan continued to chat, a cat walked up to her. It was Milkbark, one of the kitty pets that recently joined. She looked at Elsa and said, Snow Pelt, come on, patrol. Oh, coming, coming. She followed Milkbark out of the camp. The other kitty pet, Osprey Wing, was also joining them. The three cats stumbled upon a fresh looking den. Elsa leaped down to get a better look. Milkbark responding, Rogues have been here, it stinks. As the patrol headed back to tell Badger Star, Honey Fern came running towards them. Guys, the gathering, come on, we're gonna be late. The sound of many paws thumping against the ground could be heard as the group of cats all reached the gathering. This was no ordinary small clan gathering. This was a gathering where 
every clan came and the leaders would speak about current issues. Elsa quickly sat next to a large brown warrior named Lionpad. He was telling the clan how it was good to be early and being on time and you were being late. Elsa couldn't help but smile. They were the only clan there so far. Bee Strike ran up to Badgerstar. Thunder Clan's on their way. Suddenly, Stone Star was on top of the rock, sitting next to Badger Star, and soon after, more Thunder Clan cats surrounded them. Hello, Stone Star, Badger first said. Thunder Clan may start. Stone Star spoke. My clan's been okay. After Badger left, the clan needed a new deputy. I was going to choose him, but he left. My clan is good, though. Hisses could be heard coming from the Shadow Clan cats. Why was Stone Star lying? He had picked Burnt Pelt. Badger Star spoke. Shadow Clan is doing very well. Prey is plenty, and we have two new warriors. Willowtail spoke. And for your information, Stone Star, we don't regret a single decision. Stone Star looked over at his clan. I do not wish to start a war, Badger Star. Badger Star responded, For now, yes, we will remain peaceful. Who said anything about wars? Thunder Clan and Shadow Clan have been accusing each other since the dawn of the clans, Lion Pad muttered. Elsa was just happy there wasn't going to be a war. That's the last thing either of the clans needed. Then Badgerstar spoke. If that's everything, I think this gathering is over. Mumbles and whispers could be heard from the Thunder Clan side, talking about war and seeking revenge. Willowtail hissed. Nobody is going to war. Both of the leaders jumped down from the rock. Badger Star walking over to the Shadow Clan side. He looked at them and said, Shadow Clan, let's go. The clan rose to their paws. Scary sounds of rumbling and monsters could be heard above as Badger Star led them in a tunnel underneath the Thunder Path. Elsa made sure to stick close with her clanmates, feeling such a sense of pride to be a part of the Shadow Clan. Back at camp, she decided to give the two new warriors a tour of the clan, showing them the different dens and where Badgerstar usually calls the meetings. When finished, she walked over to Lionpad, who was sitting on a rock by himself. Hi, Lionpad, she said. Oh, hello, Snowpelt. While the two cats chatted, Elsa couldn't help but notice how handsome this Tom was. Maybe she could get to know him better. As it started to get late, Elsa got up and stretched. Well, time for a well-deserved sleep. You try and get some as well, she purred to Lion Pad before walking off into the den. Elsa drifted off to sleep as the moon rose high in the sky. But then suddenly she heard a cat approaching. Looking up, it was Badger Star. He gently nudged her with his large paw. Snow, snow pelt? Elsa quickly got up. Y yes? Badger Star shuffled his paws nervously. Elsa could tell something was wrong. She tilted her head. Is something wrong, Badger Star? His expression softened. I want to tell you something. Curling up next to her, he looked into her eyes, gently leaning forward to boop her nose. I, uh, love you, Elsa. Elsa just was in disbelief. She looked at Badger Star. Me? But isn't Willowtail your mate? Badger Star simply shook his head. Elsa looked at the ground for a moment before looking back up at him and speaking. She was very protective of you. It's why I left you alone. Nah, She's just jealous, but she told me she was over it, Badger Star said. Elsa could feel her ears burn red. She 
had to admit it to him. I've always had a crush on you, Badger Star. Really? The dark-coated Tom asked. His face brightened up. Elsa couldn't help but feel a little guilty. She wasn't sure how to feel, not wanting to upset her new friend Willowtail, but also wanting to be happy and maybe even starting a family. After a few moments, she looked up, staring into Badger Fur's yellow eyes. She couldn't help but smile. Do you want to be with me? She asked. Almost immediately, Badger Star stood to his paws. Hang on. His face seemed concerned. Elsa was a little startled, but nodded. Something's happened, Badger Star says, walking out of the den. Elsa, soon after, gets up and follows him. Once they were both in the clearing of camp, Lion Pad came racing in. Guys, come on! Something's happened! Elsa tried her best to keep up with the group as they raced out of camp, down a hill, and to the Thunderpath? Elsa couldn't believe her eyes. Laying in front of her, almost motionless, was Willowtail. The rest of the clan surrounding her. One of the cats said, let's get her back to camp. Badger Star walked up behind Elsa. You could just hear the heartbreak in his voice. Willowtail! <laughs> she shouldn't have died, Holly first said. Oh no, was all that Elsa could manage to say as the cats leaned down around her body. It's too late for her, Badger Star, I'm sorry, Lion Pad spoke. <laughs> Many of the Shadow Clan cats bowed their head respectfully. Lion Pad spoke up again. She can rest now. She walks with Star Clan now. Badger Star spoke. She will be missed, Elsa said wholeheartedly. After a few more moments of mourning, Holly first speaks up. We need to get back to camp. Badger Fur nods. We'll bring her and bury her by the camp. Taking a deep breath, I will go back to camp, Elsa said gently, nuzzling Badger Star comfortingly. The snow was falling hard and fast as she walked back to camp. She wanted to let Badger Star say his final goodbye to Willowtail alone. Walking into camp, she spotted Lion Pad. Tears were rolling down his face. She walked over to make sure he was okay. Lion Pad, I'm so sorry. I'm very sad as well. <laughs> she sniffled. It's no, it's all right. It's just. Lion Pad stammered. Elsa tilted her head. What's wrong? I've seen so much death in my life. Elsa listened to him speak. I saw my first body at three moons. Elsa looked down. That's unfortunate. Looking up at the Tom, she spoke. During my time as a kitty pet, I never saw blood. It never gets easy, she admitted. It was my mother when my father left us. I'm sorry to hear that. Elsa leaped up next to Lion Pad, hoping she could bring him some comfort. He couldn't take care of my brother and I. I never saw him again after that. Elsa gently nudged him, resting her head on his shoulder. He looked over. Thank you. 
I never knew my parents, she sighed, not trying to take away from Linepad's sadness, but maybe bring some comfort knowing that he's not alone. I'm sorry about that, Linepad said. Elsa gave him a gentle smile. It's okay, it's pretty common with kitty pets, unfortunately. Looking up, she spotted a few clan cats coming into camp. One of them was Badgerstar. Oh, look, Badgerstar's back. She got up to go see him. Everyone gather for a meeting, he said blankly, almost expressionless. The clan seemed so quiet and empty without Willowtail. Honeyfern, Bee Strike, Lion Pad, Elsa, and Milky Way all sat together, looking up, waiting for Badger Spar to speak next. Despite what happened, the clan must go on, Badger first said. Elsa nodded sadly. So, I will choose a new deputy. Elsa had almost forgotten that they had to choose a deputy so soon. She looked around and wondered who it would be. After a few moments of silence, Badgerstar spoke up. Lionpad, will you accept the role of deputy and serve your clan, even at the cost of your own life? Lionpad, who was sitting next to Elsa, perked his ears up. Lots of cheers could be heard from the clanmates. Yay, Lionpad! Congratulations, Lionpad! I do, Badgerstar, Lionpad said proudly. Badgerstar nodded. May Star Clan approve my choice. We will gather up four trees tonight. That is all. Clan dismissed. Elsa still wanted to talk to Badgerstar. He never really answered the question if he wanted them to be together or if they were mates. After he jumped off the rock, she quickly followed after, but before she could say anything, he yelled, Come on! The gathering! Let's go! Leaving the camp, Elsa realized just how harsh the weather was right now. It felt almost like a blizzard. She could barely see right in front of her paws, but she trusted Badger Star. Taking a deep breath, she dashed across the thunder path. This was almost the exact place where Willowtail died, but she couldn't think about her right now. She needed to think about her future. Maybe after this gathering, her and Badgerstar could become real mates and who knows, maybe even start a family. Settling into a spot, she couldn't help but smile. Even while her body was freezing, her heart was just so warm thinking about her future.